Here we have a, a line again on the coordinate uh, here, x and y. So we just need to find the equation of this line. Again, we always write y equals mx plus c uh, in the slope intercept form. So we need to find where, uh, where this crosses this line to get our c, et cetera. But we don't really have a good answer for that right away. But what we do have are two points. If we have two points on a line, then we can find everything we need about it. Those two points, it looks like, are negative 2, 4, and 2, comma, negative 1. So x is 2, y is negative 1. So what we want to do here is uh, plug in these values to give us our slope m, and then we can see what the y-intercept is from there. So the equation for m is always rise over run, or delta y over delta x, which we can write as uh, the difference quotient of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which for this one, if we call this point 1 and this point 2, then we have uh, negative 1 minus 4 and 2 minus negative 2. So that gives us negative 5 here, and 2 minus negative 2 is 4, so negative 5 over 4. And that makes sense. It's a negative number. It's a negative slope. It's going down to the right. So that's great. That's our slope m. So we're halfway home. We just need to get this c. To get that, pick whichever point you want and plug it in here with your m. So we're just going to plug it in, and then we'll have one variable left. Let's choose this one. Uh, if we plug in negative 1 for y equals, we have m, negative 5 fourths. Uh, then we have 2 for x, so times 2 here, not x, but 2 plugging this into this, plus c, and then we just have a single equation, one unknown, and we can solve for c. So let's simplify that a little bit. We have negative 1 uh, equals 2 times negative 5 over 4. That could simplify to negative 10 over 4 plus c. And then this simplifies to negative 1 equals, uh, if we have negative 10 divided by 4, we can write that as negative 5 halves, so that's pretty simple. Now we want to have uh, the c all by itself. We'll add 5 fourths to both sides, and then we'll be done. So adding 5 fourths to both sides, sorry, 5 halves to both sides gives us c by itself. Negative 1 plus 5 halves. We need to put this in the fractional form too. Negative 2 halves plus 5 halves equals c. 5 minus 2 is 3 halves equals c. So now we found our, th our two different variables, our slope and our y-intercept. We can write this all out together. So let's just write y equals slope negative 5 fourths and our y-intercept, so times x plus 3 halves. So that's our final answer there. So again, let's just go through this quickly. We found our slope give from the two points. Then we plug the slope back in with either one of our points, any point on the line is fine. And then using that, we just use algebra to solve for that C. And then we can write it all out here. And that's it.